Hello students, welcome to the science class. Today, I am going to teach you new chapter that is chapter number 8, Materials and Solutions. The objectives of this chapter are Examples of solvent, solute and solution in day-to-day -day life. Conduct experiment to make solution by using solute form solution. Differentiate between soluble and insoluble substances in liquids. Examples of soluble and insoluble substances. Identify various methods of separation of solute and solvent from solution. Distinguish between the methods of sedimentation, filtration and evaporation. In this chapter, we will also study about what is matter, three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas, solute, solvent and solution, separation of soluble and insoluble substances. The terms in this chapter are matter, sedimentation, sediments, decantation, filtration, solute, solubility, solution, solvent and volume. Now students, open your book at page number 80 and let's start our reading from the topic states of matter. All things around us are made up of matter. Underline the word matter and write down its definition. Matter is anything that occupies space and have mass. Different kinds of matter exist in three states on the earth. Solid, liquid and gas. Students, there are three states of matter and these three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. So let's start our reading from the solids. A solid has a fixed size and shape and it occupies a definite amount of space. So students, solid is a state of matter which is having fixed shape and size and it also occupies the definite amount of space. The particles in a solid are tightly packed and lie very close to each other. So, the molecules in a solid are closely packed. They do not have space to move about. Due to this reason, the force of attraction between the molecules is very strong in solid. The examples of solid are iron, table and chair. Now, the next state of matter is liquid. Liquid do not have a definite shape but have a definite volume and occupy definite amount of space. Underline the word volume and write down its definition. Amount of space occupied by matter. So, Liquid is a state of matter which does not have a definite shape but it has definite volume and it also occupies definite amount of space. They take the shape of their container. For example, if you put water in a glass, it will take the shape of glass and if you put some water in a bottle, it will take the shape of bottle. The particles in a liquid are loosely packed and have more space between them as compared to the particles of solids. As molecules in liquid are loosely packed and they have space to move about. Moreover, the space between the molecules of liquid is more than the solid. The examples of liquid are oil, ghee, water and milk. Now, next state of matter is gas. Gas has no shape or size of its own. So, gases have neither fixed shape nor fixed size. It takes the shape of any container in which it is filled and occupies a definite amount of space. It spreads out to fill any size. The particles in gases are very loosely packed and lie far apart from each other. So, the molecules in a gas are loosely packed 
and thus have large space between them. Moreover, the molecules of gases move freely. The examples of gas are oxygen and nitrogen. Now come to the next topic, solute, solvent and solution. Underline the word solute and write down its definition, a solid that is soluble, a liquid. Now, underline the word solvent and write down its definition, a liquid in which solute can dissolve. Underline the word solution and write down its definition, a mixture of solute and solvent. Take a half spoon of salt and mix it in water. You will see that salt disappear in few seconds. Take half cup of milk and add it into a glass of water. The water quickly mix with the milk and becomes white in color. This mixture obtained is same throughout its bulk. This mixture is called a solution. So students, the milk which is mixed in water is called solute and in which milk is mixed is called solvent. Now students, let's perform an activity and try to mix different matters to understand solute, solvent and solution. Take a glass of water and add some sugar in it. Stir the sugar in water. Can you see the sugar after stirring? Students, sugar disappears from inside water after stirring. The process in which one kind of solid matter get disappeared when mixed in liquid is called dissolution. And the solid matter that disappear is said to be dissolved in a liquid matter. The solid, for example, sugar or salt that dissolve in water is called solute and the liquid example water in which the solid gets dissolved is called solvent and when the solid dissolves in a liquid it forms solution so students when we put sugar in water its particles spread throughout the water and the molecules of sugar occupy the empty space in between the molecules of water that is why sugar seems to disappear when it is put in water. So students, the volume of solution remains almost same as the volume of solvent because sugar does not take up any extra space. Moreover, the particles of the sugar fill up the space between the particles of water. So students, in today's class, I have discussed with you states of matter and solute, solvent, solution. So read and revise the topic thoroughly and also revise the cross questions. Thank you and have a nice day.